My name is Aiden Becker, and other people with this presentation are Braden Lehman and AJ Baxter. Uh, the symbol of Buddhism. The symbol of Buddhism is the Dharma Chakra. The Dharma Chakra represents the path to enlightenment. Regions and countries. The main countries in Buddhism. Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Malaysia, China, Macca, Vietnam. All right, so place of origin and founder of Buddhism. Buddhism was founded by Siddhartha Gautama in the late 6th century BCE. Uh, the hearth of this religion is northern India. So Siddhartha is known as the teacher, philosopher, and spiritual guide of this religion. He was the one that would enlighten people and bring them into the religion and basically enlighten them in the ways of Buddhism. Uh, he was known as the Buddha, and he never claimed himself to be any sort of prophet or god. And with India being such a dense place of high population, it spread pretty quickly throughout the region. Uh, sacred text and ultimate goal. The Buddhist sacred text is the Tripika, also known as the Pali Canon, and the Mahana Sutras. The ultimate goal of Buddhism is Nirvana. The Pali Canon means the word of Buddha. Nirvana is the rebirth of the Buddhists, and it's the ultimate goal. It's where they want to get to in their life. Pali Canon consists of the sutras, the teachings of Buddha. Worship does not have a god. Monks read off t religious texts during prayers. Buddhist is also known as the awakened one. During the worshiping process, Buddhists have to kneel in front of images or statues of the Buddha. Their feet must be facing away from the Buddha as they chant their prayers. All right, so some of the major beliefs that Buddhists have are right here on this slide. So three trainings or practices that they have is good conduct or just being good to other people, um, concentration on both meditation and mental health development are also a major part of this, and then basically insight and wisdom and enlightening others are part of their major practices. With the Four Noble Truths, they basically include suffering does exist you cause your own suffering and there is an end to suffering in order to achieve that end of suffering you must follow the eightfold path now for the five precepts you have do not kill do not steal do not lie and then do not misuse sex and then and that part of this is not, they do not consume any alcohol or any other drug and then spread and diffusion after Siddhartha finished his quest along the middle path, Buddha sought to uh, out to northeastern India. During Buddha's travels, local nuns and monks followed his teachings, continuing to spread Buddhism. After Buddha passed in 14, 483 BCE, Ashoka took the leading role in his religion. Building temples promoting his religion as Ashoka took over India, Ashoka sent monks and nuns to several countries sharing beliefs of Buddha. There are about 535 million Buddhists in the world today. Buddha traveled around for a decade, and monks and nuns wore orange robes to support Buddhism. Uh, Buddha died after a decade of traveling throughout India. Ashoka took over, sending monks and nun nuns all over India to teach this religion. Social Impact Buddhism has made a large social impact on the world's religion. About 535 million followers. Buddhism is a universal religion. Buddhism is practiced worldwide and is the fourth largest region, religion in the world. In, six, in the 6th century, China, Buddhism rivaled Dominism in popularity. 8% of today's population worships Buddhism. Once a monk has reached enlightenment, they have become one with Buddha or the enlightened one. All right, so some of the holy sites and holy days that they have. As far as holy sites go, they have Lumbini, which is the birthplace of the Buddha, uh, Bodh Gaya, which is where the Buddha realized that enlightenment does exist and basically where the religion started. Uh, Sar Sarnath is where the Buddha gave his first teaching to those who wish to be enlightened. And then Kusangara is where the Buddha died to achieve Parinirvana. And holy days include Veska, which is basically the Buddha's birthday, which is one of the biggest festivals that Buddhists around the world 
uh, celebrate. And Haryavana is basically Nirvana Day. Oh, burial practices. Oh, when a Buddhist dies, they have a ceremony for their life, and then they are cremated. Buddhism Venn Diagram. The Mahayana, northern parts of Southeast Asia, uses the citrus, promotes seeking enlightenment for all beings, not just yourself, both. The Four Noble Truths, Buddha. Theravada, southern parts of Southeast Asia, uses the Pali Canon, promotes teachings of analysts and gains insight on he or she's experience. So then here are just a picture of some of the uh, famous temples that the Buddhists have. Oh, the Mahabodhi. Known as the Great Enlightenment Temple, the Mahabodhi is located in Bodh Gaya, India. The site is important because it contains a tree that is a descendant from the original that Siddhartha attained enlightenment from. The Bora Burar. The Bora Burar is the first is the largest, most famous Buddhist temple in the world. The temple is located in Java, in Indonesian island. The temple is the temple is the most massive. It took roughly seventy five years and about two million blocks of stone to create this masterpiece. And then here are our works cited. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. And I hope you have a good day.